Before I had any reactions, we knew the stereotypical symptoms of reactions. You'll get hives, your chest will get tight, you'll get itchy, and then you take your epinephrine. but it does differ depending on the person and depending on the type of reaction that you're having. So for example, I've had allergic reactions where I've just kind of had rashes or I've gotten hives and I've had other reactions where I've had none of the things on my body, but everything is internal. I have had a major allergic reaction before. Um, it was at a kayaking trip with my friend. It was his birthday party. He invited about 20 people or so. I'd never been kayaking before, um, so I made the mistake of not bringing my auto injector with me onto the kayak. And then halfway through, we had lunch, um, and the salad had a egg balsamic vinegar. And I only, I didn't ask enough questions. I only asked about balsamic vinegar. And I didn't. I was too hungry to like think to ask more in depth. So I had an allergic reaction. Um, I couldn't breathe properly. I couldn't tell my friend what was wrong, but I was able to text it out to him. Uh, so then uh, in a little while, the staff came and I was loaded into the truck and then I was brought to my friend's uh, car where I injected myself. And so that was really a scary situation. I shouldn't have left my auto injector in my friend's car. I should have asked more questions or prepared more about my own food. My worst allergic reaction took place at a girl's sweet 16 party in high school. It was at a hall. Um, everybody was dancing. I cannot tell you what I ate because I did not eat anything at the party. Um, what did happen was we were dancing and then all of a sudden I got a really weird feeling in the pit of my stomach. I was getting really hot. I was feeling a little bit faint. Um, and so I asked my friends to go outside with me just to get a breath of fresh air. As soon as we got outside, I realized something was wrong. I was talking a little bit weird, my throat felt a little bit funny, um, and I was starting to panic. In that moment, my friend went back in inside the hall in order to get my jacket. While at that point, I was injecting myself with epinephrine, and my other friend was calling 911. The reason why it was my worst allergic reaction was because it was in such a public place. I had all of my friends, pretty much everybody in my grade was there, and I did feel embarrassed. I know I shouldn't have felt embarrassed, and now that I think back on it, it's not an embarrassing moment at all. But in that moment with a 16-year-old girl who doesn't want the attention on her, it can be very embarrassing. The biggest lesson learned from having that reaction is probably just to recognize when to call for help. I think, thinking back on it, that I waited too long to tell my friends that something was wrong, and I probably, definitely should have said something sooner. After I had my major reaction, I learned a lot of things. Um, I learned to always bring your auto injector with you, and if you're not sure if you can, just ask. The doctor asked me if I had my auto injector on me, which I did, and he asked me if I wanted to give it to myself. This is the first time that I had to give myself the auto injector, so when he asked me, I was like, well, I don't really have a reason not to. <laughs> so once I got over the panic of stabbing myself in the leg, I was able to give the auto injector to myself, and it wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. There is no such thing as just eating something or just going out for dinner. You always have to prepare in advance, and you always have to be responsible with bringing your epinephrine with you everywhere. When I was younger, I had to rely on people a lot more. 
Um, but now that I'm older, I carry my own auto injector on my waist with me at all times. So I find that it's not as big an issue. Um, a lot of my friends are very supportive. I find sometimes I go to restaurants and they'll actually ask the waiter questions that I might forget about cross-contamination because they've been through the drill so many times. So if I forget something, they'll pick it up. So I'm really glad that they care enough to remember. I do a thing where I also train my friends once a year how to use the auto injector and what to do, what my symptoms look like, who to call, the whole thing. Um, so I make sure everyone close to me definitely knows what's going on. The biggest lesson I learned is that at the end of the day you need to res be responsible for how to help yourself. You need to be comfortable with how to use the auto injector as well as how to recognize the signs and symptoms beforehand in order to turn a scary situation into a controlled one.